Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. My name is Chloe for those who are new to my channel and if you are a subscriber already then welcome back. So um, basically today's video is going to be um, a makeup brush review video. Um, I got these brushes off of Amazon. Um, yeah, so I thought I needed some new makeup brushes and I got a voucher for Christmas. So that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing that I use to prep my skin, um, well, I've moisturised, um, I've put some Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Miracle Hydrating Mist on my face and then some Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe Vera Herbs and Rose Water and this is incredible. You get it um, in Urban Outfitters for like £7 and honestly it is insane. Um, so I basically, I don't use any brushes or anything to basically prep, uh, prime my face. I just use my fingers um, and it's normally just in my T-zone because I get um, a really oily a nose area and that's really the only place that I get oily skin. So these are the brushes. They come in this cute little um, bag, I believe. I don't know how to pronounce the brand. <sighs> I'll leave the link in the description box. But you get you get four face brushes. Let's start with the face brushes. So let me just take them out of the packaging. So not prepared. Okay, so you get a foundation brush, which I don't use these foundation brushes. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Can they see that? Cool. Um, I don't. I don't really use these type of brushes to apply my foundation. I just it gives it like strokes. Um, and then you get this powder brush, which they're so soft, honestly, and like I don't think we'll see if they shred or not. If they shred, babble. And then you get the stippling brush, sorry, for foundation. I would use this for foundation, obviously. And then this sort of like domed powder brush, which you'd probably use for like contour. Um, and let's move on to the eye brushes. You basically just get an angled brush. Uh, I think that's like a lip brush. Excuse me, peanut. Trying to record here. Um, and then you get two eye brushes that are basically like just little domed blending brushes. Um, exactly like that. So let's get on with the reviewing. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. And basically, I've noticed. Um, Doofus wants to get in. No, no, no. Mama is trying to. Trying to film a video. Um, I basically noticed that because I have quite a clear complexion, I don't actually need like a heavy, heavy, heavy duty foundation. So this foundation basically just gives you, it's like a, it says it's medium to high coverage, but I wouldn't suggest if you are prone, oh my god. The only thing is as well, like I find it so confusing to like get it out of the the bottle without either putting too much on your face. Yeah, so let's get blending. So I'm basically just gonna be going in with the stippling brush. Um it's just this like flat, flat topped brush, and I'm basically just gonna dive right in. Oh wow. Okay, mama. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm honestly, I actually thought that I had tonsillitis yesterday and I had to get Amber to take me to the doctors. So I was like, I'm thick. Um, right, so I've just blended out my foundation. Um, and we're going to basically be going in with some concealer and this is in my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and this is in the shade 5. Um, sadly... I'm going to have to use my beauty blender to blend this out because 
they don't actually come with a concealer brush or a brush that I would even consider using to blend out my concealer. So we will carry on in a mole. So I've basically just blended out um, my concealer. Um, I'm just going to be going in with a Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set the face. I don't really think I really need to bake that much these days and I'm basically just going to be going in, no, I'm going to be going in with the fluffy, the fluffy domed powder brush and I'm basically just going to get some of that on my brush, tap it off, set under my eyeball. Uh, I don't know about anyone else, however, I have never found a powder really that prevents my under eye, even when I bake, um, from like creasing basically. And then I'm basically just going over the rest of my face just to keep that foundation in place because I have. Um, combination skin as well like sometimes I feel like the makeup can slip around a bit if I don't set and that ain't good girl next stage is contour get those cheekbones looking snatch girl um, and I'm gonna be going in with the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the light to medium palette um, and basically to contour I'm gonna be using this the domed fluffy brush I basically just go in with all three, tap that off because these are hella pigmented, you don't want to be looking crazy. I hate that noise. So far so good guys, I'm really liking these brushes. Yeah, I swear these brushes were like less than a tenner as well and I was just like Let's give it a go. Let's let's review it for the mandems on the YouTube. And I basically just contour my my forehead. Right, is like the tiniest forehead known to man. And you don't. I don't really need to contour it, but I do. So it looks like my con uh, my forehead is non-existent. But I do like to look a little bit brown, girl. So for I've just contoured my face. Um, and then I'm going to bronze and I'm using the um, Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, and this bronzer is so pigmented, it is actually a joke. And I basically just kind of place that above where I've contoured. And I basically just kind of do it in like a three, but like without the bottom bit. Because I don't actually really contour my chin, I probably should, because I've got like ten chins over here. So basically just put that, and I just kind of blend it into my hairline a little bit, just so it's looking a little bit more natural. I have some good news guys, your girl finally passed a theory test. Skr skr! Honestly, you have no idea how long it took me to do that, didn't Amber? It literally has taken me like three years. And that is... That's, no, she's been hit and miss on revising. It'd be like... She actually worked hard this time, so hence why she passed. But I actually did put in um, the, the time and the effort. Um, some people that I know have passed literally straight away and I'm like, how? Because it would be like the last time that I went to set my theory test, I literally failed by one mark and I was fuming. I had to leave. I was like, girl, you're going to get hit. Um, I'm just going to basically go in with another bronzer and this is a mineral glow bronzer and it's basically just to make me look like a glowy goddess. Not that I don't look like one anyway. <laughs> So now I'm going to go on to the eyebrows um, and I honestly don't really do that much with my eyebrows. I'm just using a spoolie just to 
come through them hairs, girl, because I got thick eyebrows. So we're going to use this little angled eyebrow brush and it actually feels quite like, what's the word, like, the hairs, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like quite, th there's a lot, you can feel that there's a lot of hairs, is it dense, is that the right word? So I'm basically just going to go in with, um, I don't even know what this is, um, it's basically brow cream. Um, to make your eyebrows look snatch, girl. So let's go in. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, this brush literally makes it so easy to apply the product, whatever product you may use. Um. Obviously, I would only really use this type of brush with either a powder or a pomade. Okay, guys, so I've basically just done my eyebrows. Um, I mean, I, like I said, I don't actually do an awful lot with my eyebrows because they're so thick already. I basically just fill them in. Um, so we're going to be going on to the eye shadow. Um, and again, like I have about 35 million eyeshadow palettes and... I always seem to go to the same one, so we're going to try and do something a little bit different. Um, and we're basically just going to be going in with this palette, and this eyeshadow palette is from Primark, and it was only £3, and I, I'm not even joking, like, honestly, if you've never used Primark makeup, I suggest you get yourself down to Primark and you try it. I'm basically just going to be going in with the lightest shade, and I'm just going to be... Just take a little bit of that because we don't need an, an awful lot because, like I said, they are pigmented. And we're basically just going to work this right through the crease. I've been vibing with a more natural look. Um, like, I don't, I don't know, like, I feel like if I wear heavier makeup because, like, if I wear a heavier foundation... I don't need to really because I have quite a clear complexion. I'm one of the lucky ones. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I don't get spots because I do get spots. And when I do get spots, it makes me insecure. Uh, but I am really enjoying these brushes so far. Um, and for under a tenner, like, all my days, and I'm not even joking, like, I don't even have Amazon Prime and I got them within, like, one or two days of ordering them so we're basically gonna go in with this kind of um more fluffier brush um and basically just gonna go in with a darker tone to basically just kind of add more depth to my eyelids damn daniel Honestly, guys, these brushes are insane. Well, if you're on a budget like I am, I, then I would suggest you buying these brushes. I will, like I said, I'll leave the link down below. I feel like they're such good quality for the price. Like, I have like more expense. Not, I don't spend like sixty pound on makeup brushes or whatever. I have um, more expensive brushes than these brushes and I don't feel like they do as good of a job if that makes sense. Just blend that out again, going in circular motion. Just so that it's nothing like crazy so you don't have like, <coughs> like it like going over your eyelid. And then, oh, and I'm going to go in with the shimmer, um, this gold shimmer. And I'm basically, oh, damn. Wow. Here, me. These, um, I don't know how to explain these shimmer shades as well. Like, they seem to be not a powder, but like a creamy consistency. So I'm basically just going to go back in with the bigger fluffy brush that I use to just like carve my eyelids out basically and I'm basically just gonna kind of blend these two colours together 
and because I have wrinkles under my eyes as well I basically like to smoke my eye out. I'm gonna go in with some blush because your girl can't leave the house without some blush. You know I like to look cute um, and I basically I'm just gonna go in with the, the brush that I use to contour and bronze and I'm basically just gonna take a little bit on that and strike a smile. Put a little bit at the end of my nose just to make me look like I'm cute. Um, I'm just gonna have to use the same brush for highlighter, aren't I? <laughs> oh, let's use the the soap palette. I've been going this for Christmas. Oh, let's go in with this one. Do they have the shades on them? No. But we're gonna go in with this kind of like champagne -y kind of colour. And then we go on. Oh wow. Can you see that from there? Am I looking snatch girl? I'm loving the natural look, you know? I'm gonna just take a little bit down my nose. A little bit on the old chin again to hide the scar. Then I'm just gonna basically I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'll do that off camera because we all know how to apply mascara. Um, I'm gonna be going in with the Kiko Milano Dark Treasure mascara and I am not even kidding guys. I live by this mascara. So guys that is the finished look. I mean I'm sorry about look at these eyelashes girl. It looks like I'm wearing fake eyelashes but that's literally just one coat. Um, basically the the final verdict on these makeup brushes are I would highly highly recommend buying these brushes if you need new makeup brushes and you're on a budget then get these brushes. Like quite luxurious um, and you can I'm pretty sure you can get them in like different colours so you can get like the rose gold or silver and um, really depends on what you want I just went for the the black because black like my soul um, but yes I hope you guys have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and comment down below and like my video and we shall see you in the next one love you guys